the great Turco-Mongol empires. This is the period from 1501 to 1722. I can still do this. Okay. I got till 1020. I'm all right. The first of these, and one of my favorites to talk about, is the Safavid. Oh, this, by the way, I put this. This is a great, uh, the great uh, architecture of the Timurid period and the post-Timurid period in Central Asia. If you get a chance to go to Samarkand, the Registan is an absolutely miraculous place to go. Okay, the three empires, the Safavids. All three of these are Turkic empires. We think about the Safavids as the great Iranian empire, but the founder of the Safavid empire, Shah Ismail Hatayi, Hatayi is his pen name. His poetry is still the poetry used by the Alevis and Bektashis in their rituals. Uh, he was a peer of a Sufi order called the Safaviya. He wrote all of his poetry in Turkish. He's an amazing Turkish poet. Uh, and he uh, conquered the, uh, the Iranian plateau and established an empire. And he was part of what sometimes is called, what Hodgson calls Tariqat Shiism. It, well, he had a Sufi order that incorporated the 12 Imams of, of 12 Shiism. And he declared 12 Shiism to be the uh, religion of the empire. Over time, that Safavid empire moved from being rooted in the kind of mystical Shiism of the early Safavid Sufi order to a ulama-centered form of Shiism, in which very, very Sharia-minded, and that's the kind of Shiism that's in Iran today. But it's fascinating because, you know, everyone talks about this as the great Persian Empire. It was founded by a Turk. And there's a great story about the Ottoman Empire uh, writing the Safavid Emperor in, in Persian and then him responding in Turkish. Uh, it's like, we, these things are more, more complicated than they seem. The Safavid Empire was established, uh, it ran from 1501 to 1722. That's a successful empire, right? That's 200 years. Founded by Shah Ismail I, 1487 to 1524. As I said, uh, uh, important in being the odd person out in that this, this is also when, when we get a false thing that happens. People equate Persian with Shiism uh, as if that was always the case. There are a lot, Rumi was a Sunni. Uh, a lot of Persian literature uh, is not related to Shiism at all. We get this notion that somehow Twelver Shiism is naturally something that fits with Persian speakers. It's just the case that this is becomes the, the only Twelver Shia empire of the three, 